Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 17th question from the Linear Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1, Reading and Writing. And number 17 reads, Herbivorous sauropod dinosaurs could grow more than 100 feet long and weigh up to 80 tons. And some researchers have attributed the evolution of sauropods to such massive sizes to increase plant production resulting from high levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide during Mesozoic era. Just one sentence, but there's a lot to unpack there. So first of all, these things are huge, 100 feet long, 80 tons. Um, now notice what it says, that it's more plants. That's why they've gotten so big, okay? But it's because of higher CO2 carbon dioxide levels. So CO2 is up, which leads to more plants, which leads to bigger dinosaur. Okay, once you've established that. And feel free on test day, write on your test. If this is helpful for you, write on it. We pick up with however. However, there is no evidence of significant spikes in carbon dioxide levels coinciding with relevant periods of sauropod evolution. Okay, I know it's just a comma, but we're going to pause there. Make sure you understand it. It's easier to understand it in pieces, understand it in pieces. Um, this is a big no. So if there's no increase in carbon dioxide, that's not responsible for more plants leading to a bigger dinosaur. And then we pick up with such as. I'm going to read the whole sentence so we get context. However, there is no evidence of significant spikes in carbon dioxide levels coinciding with relevant periods of sauropod evolution, such as when the first large sauropod appeared, when several sauropod lineages underwent further evolution towards gigantism. What's gigantism? It's what it sounds like. It's when the dinosaurs got gigantic, or when sauropods reached their maximum known sizes, suggesting that... So what's that suggest that? If the carbon dioxide levels weren't actually up, um, that suggests that there, there were, if there were more plants, it's not because there's increased carbon dioxide levels. And what's that mean? The bigger dinosaur is not because there, there were increased carbon dioxide levels. We can't make a judgment about plants, though. The question is, which choice most logically completes the text? Answer choice A. Fluctuations in atmospheric carbon dioxide affected different sauropod lineages differently. No, absolutely not, because it's not talking about fluctuations in carbon dioxide levels. Uh, fluctuations would be going up and down. It just says that there's no spikes in carbon dioxide levels. So if anything, there's no fluctuations, um, but definitely no spikes. Answer choice B. The evolution of larger body sizes in sauropods did not depend on increased atmospheric carbon dioxide. Yeah, so the passage says that there are bigger dinosaurs, 100 feet long, 80 tons, but if there was no spikes in carbon dioxide levels, then you cannot say that a spike in carbon dioxide level led to a bigger dinosaur. Answer choice B looks like it's our answer. Answer choice C. Atmospheric carbon dioxide was higher when the largest known sauropods lived than when the first sauropods appeared. That would be support for this theory, but we just said that there were not spikes in carbon dioxide levels. So this carbon dioxide was higher. Not. It says it wasn't. Answer is D. Sauropods probably would not have evolved to such immense sizes if atmospheric carbon dioxide had been even slightly higher. That would be like there's no relation between the carbon dioxide levels and the sides of the sauropod. That's what it seems to be saying. D is gone. B is your answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with anyone who has trouble with these reading comprehension questions, um, especially when it's asking what most logically completes the text. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.